Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Super Sim 7, my walkthrough in Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is what it looks like when you go back to the game after exiting out. So let's just hit resume as you can see. I am an engineer on the Normandy command deck, that's where I was. So let's see what happens when I press resume just from the screen. See how long it takes. Oh, it just puts us right back into the, uh, the game from the main page. Maybe I should have hit start instead of resume. I don't know. But I just want to do it this time to show you guys uh, what it's like. Oh no, I hit the right thing. Alright, so last time we talked with Joker, we looked around, we talked to Navigator Presley. Let's see if he has anything new to say. Something I can do for you, Commander? I was curious about a few things. You and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. I better head down and see the captain. Yes, sir. Alright. And uh, here is the menu screen, just wanted to make sure things were working well, because favorite video games. Alright, journal, when you become lost, look to your journal or map for guidance, we already looked at that. Squad. Alright, photo mode. I don't think I've ever done this. Oh, look at that! That is actually really nice. Uh, how do you zoom out? Oh. RT and RT or something. Okay. Uh, I've never done this before, but... Oh. Okay, let's resume. Don't really care about uh It's not the kind of place Spectre's visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Alright, we got the overhear that conversation. Let's go to the galaxy map. Only a commanding officer may specify destination for Normandy. Okay. Uh, anything over here? Okay, so they still salute me. And then they put their hand down later. Let's talk to Jenkins, Corporal Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not going to screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. Now, this whole stuff might sound really out of left field. Don't know what's going on if you've never played Mass Effect before, but, uh... Rewatching the series or replaying it, it makes a lot more sense. It's very cool. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. <laughs> so, the Citadel's like a giant uh, 
part in the center of the universe of the Milky Way galaxy, Mensa Galaxy, where all aliens in the Milky Way galaxy converge and live at peace. It's kind of like a uh, home base. So let me just Why skip this because I missed they're one. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable Hear him say this again. Just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I... I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But... When I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's gotta be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. All right. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So I got Summit uh, Points, Codex, Paragon plus two. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Oh, never mind. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. So let me go here to the Codex. Citadel and Galactic Government, massive space station that serves as the political and economic capital of the galactic culture. Okay, that's way better to sum it up than what I said. Spectres are agents from the office of Spectres you can kind of think of them as superheroes. Only to the Citadel and CSEC, you can kind of think of as policemen, policemen for the, the Citadel. To deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers. Okay, so you can read all that if you want, but let's get going on with the main story. Thank you for saluting me. Here is Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. 
Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Alright, I like this guy now. And wow, uh, in the PS3 version of my game, it doesn't let you choose these options after uh, what I chose. So, uh, there's that. So... Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Okay, so we learned a lot right there. I'm ready to go. Specifically, we learned about the Terminus systems are kind of where all the bad guys live. Citadel space is protected by Citadel C second specters. Eden Prime is just a normal farming community. Very nice humans live there. Protheans are aliens from uh, tens of thousands of years ago, and we use their technology to build mass relays to space travel. That's how humans are now interacting with all of these aliens across the Milky Way galaxy like it's a normal thing. But humans are very new to this, and that's something that I don't think they've uh, talked about much uh, yet. Humans are very new to the galaxy, to the Citadel, so we kind of get treated like second-class citizens, which I guess we kind of we are because we're, we're new, and yet we're getting a whole bunch of uh, things very quickly that other species had to work a long time to get. Anyway, return. I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. What's what's the video? Oh, war shootout. Get down! <laughs> Shepard's like, what are we watching? I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need Oh Did not need to see that. Okay, something big is happening. Whoa, what is that? A giant hand or something? A giant bug? Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. Just goes dead. Nothing. Reverse and hold of 
Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Jenkins is coming with us, okay. Got a lot more complicated, but a lot more fun. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Thank you. We are approaching drop point two. Okay, a little scouting mission at first, I guess, for us. 20... Very nice. Wow, this looks almost a lot completely different. Okay, wait, where's that ship? This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Alright, so yeah, I'm a little turned around because this does not look like it is from the original versions. Uh, use the picture button to draw my weapon. Use RT to fire. Sustained fire causes weapons to overheat. So, as you see, here's the aiming, and everyone else is aiming, and I hold the right trigger. Use LT to aim. Aiming increases your accuracy, no duh. And if I just keep shooting, which you cannot hold the trigger to do, like in uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3 originally, but I guess it works. I, I wish you could hold it down more, so I don't really need to shoot right now. Let's talk to Kaden. Okay. Oh god. What happened here? Oh god. What happened here? That's what I was going to say. There's a tree. That's something. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Harmless, huh? You know so press the left trigger to pull out your gun, aim, and then What? Hey, you're not getting away from that easily. Gas bags. Pretty. Are those gas bags actually uh much easier to put? Like, oh, oh, my gun here. There's water. You can see. Oh, look at the reflections. That's really cool. Uh, down here. Thought there was something to pick up back here, but maybe not. Unless I'm getting oh God. What happened here? turned around. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. Yeah, I was. So apparently this does not sprint if you hold down A, just looks like you do. But that might have been the original game and not the Legendary Edition, not so sure. Here we go. Upgrade kit. Combat Sensor 1. Oh, well, I mean, that's... Boring to grab. Okay, so we're almost at the end of this part. I'm just gonna go up this. Oh, there's fire right there. Oh my goodness. What is, is that? A oh, that's just plants on fire. Okay, so before we go to that little area over there, I'm gonna pause. Here's my journal. Prologue. Find a beacon. You're in charge of the group team. You can read out if you want. Head to the dig site. Speak to the captain. We already did that. Codex. Weapons, armor, and equipment. So we haven't actually looked at anything in here yet. Here's upgrades, and you can read that. This is just kind of the explanation of how upgrades work in this game, or in the entire Mass Effect universe. One, two, three, should I have enough time to read that? Oh, just a little bit more, uh, right there. So, primary, aliens extinct races, 
So I feel like this is just the Protheans. Yep. Thousand years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remained. You get it. Planets and locations. The Milky Way galaxy contains 200 to 400 billion stars, most with a host of planets. The terminus systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse. This is a little Beyond bit important the for the trilogy to read. The Citadel Council, or claimed by the so if you want to, I, I highly recommend it. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species, united only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the council. Okay, and now we can do squad. We can, uh... You know what, I'll do this next time in the next part. So, hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching. And did I save the game last time I played? I think I did, right? Yeah.